Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Also, if you are new, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you get a second, if you can click that subscribe button and the bell icon, so you get a notification when we put a new upload, it helps the channel. And also if you like today's video, any of you watching, smash that like button. It also really helps the channel out. So just before we get on to what's happening in today's video, I just wanted to say a few words. So today's video should have been the last video on the Evoke. We attempted to film it yesterday. It was on and off with rain, which isn't good when you're trying to clean and wax a car. So on the also on the community post, I stated while we haven't posted on the channel for a couple of weeks, that's due to unfortunately Pete caught COVID. But the good news, he is now fully recovered. That's all that matters. But during that two weeks, I managed to get all the parts for one of the two new cars. Now on to today's video. So in today's video, we are revealing. You probably can already see from the thumbnail and title, but our new 2018 Skoda Fabia. So this particular car, we was not even looking for this car as it's totally different to some of the cars we're bidding on, for example, the Audi A6 Allroad, etc. But we don't particularly look for a certain car. Whatever comes in the auction at a decent price, it might only need a front bumper or it might need a complete front end. If it's at a good price, me and Pete will bid on it. So same with this. We weren't looking for it. It would come in the auction. This one was uh, Peter Lee. So that's near Newcastle, if I'm correct. Obviously, I didn't pick it up. I've got my, my recovery guy to go and collect it for us. So let's get straight on to the cinematics. <laughs> So as you've just seen on the cinematics, unfortunately the car was involved on a front end accident, but it's in good hands, me and Pete will soon put it back to how it once was. So we'll start looking at the good parts about the car. Body works nice and clean, obviously apart from the front end, I can't see no dings or dents. The tyres all the way round, just like this one, plenty of tread. So the car's a late 2018 on a 68 plate, it's a Skoda Fabia Mark III facelift, so the latest shape out. It's also an SEL, so the L, you get reverse sensors, better wheels, keyless start, sat-nav, and a few other bits. Driver's side, the same, no dings or dents, nice and clean. Same as the roof. It might be a bit dusty because it's been parked in Copart Yard for a little bit. So we'll start looking in the boot. That's the original driver's headlight. That's ready for the bin. As you can see, the lens is broken in half. The body is no good. Spare wheels there of all the tools and the lock and wheel nut, luckily. Just to let you know, I am speaking over this video as it was quite windy today. So we walk around to the front end now. The passenger wing has one tiny bit of damage on it. Where the headlight sits, there's just one little ding, but that's repairable. Bottom of the sill is all good. And also the windscreen, which is luckily is not cracked which some cars are designed when the dashboard airbags go off, they can crack the windscreens. Luckily not on this one. So the driver's wing's damaged, so it's, when the door's been opening, it's been catching on the wing. Luckily, it's only taken paint off. It's not dented or creased the door, so that will easily get blended in when the new panels get painted. The sill's all nice and straight, but that bonnet, nothing can be done to that. That's just ready for the bin. As you can see, plenty of creases and dents. So the front bumper is also damaged. Front grille, headlights, crash bars had a big old whack in the middle. The condenser is damaged, but the radiator is fine. This is the radar. 
to try and prevent an accident happening. They're about £500 from DLO or 250 on eBay. Luckily, that's not damaged. So we'll have a look under the bonnet. Just a quick view. We'll have a more in-depth view on a later video. It is quite dusty, but the main thing there is antifreeze. So we'll start walking into the interior. As some of you may know, buying cars on Copart, you never know if you're going to get service history of the car. Luckily, this one, there is the service book, and it has had its first service at Skoda. Interior, apart from obviously all the airbags have gone off, it's in a nice, good, clean example. Same as the rear seats. So, the interior, it's, it's got a nice pattern on the seats. No, it is keyless, so as if you can see, you can see the button where you normally put a key. It is a start and drive car, as you can see, it's 9,000 miles. Also, the car did have a full tank on the photos on Copart. Obviously, they've done the, tip, the normal thing they do, took all the fuel out. I'm only starting it, as you did see, the... Uh, Antifreeze is maximum, and there's nothing in the way for the car not to start. But yeah, it is. It is a nice little car, as it's the later 18. You get the LED for the heat controls, etc. And also, let me just turn this off. I won't have it around too long. The fuel, in case. And also, I have already removed and sent off the front seat belts. As I was struggling, honestly, I was really struggling to find seatbelts for this car. For some reason, on this Fabio, literally, for example, second-hand parts on eBay, I couldn't see much for this. So there was, obviously, I'm going near a dashboard kit. All the airbags have gone off. So those kits were, there was one kit in Peterborough, £700 that come from a car that had been rolled. So the front windscreen is all smashed, all little glass bits everywhere. And I can assume, I, obviously, I haven't seen the dashboard in person. I would say there's little marks all over that dashboard. I don't want to repair a car like that. All the other airbag kits were about a £1,000. Yeah, I got a genuine brand new from Skoda. Well, TPS, they sell genuine parts for about 260 quid for the dash. And I bought the two, two airbags. So I've spoken to Dean, who's got the YouTube channel Save and Salvage, to find out where he got his seatbelts done for his Mark 7 Golf GTI which he then responded, it was uh, the airbag team. So I took them out, sent them off, they'll be coming back. So the next video on this car will be, I enjoy doing this, a complete airbag kit install. So remove and install. So I'm at my local TPS in Peterborough. As you can see, this is a brand new genuine dashboard. I'm not keeping the box, I can't fit the box in my car. So we're taking the dashboard out now. Right, I'm gonna quickly show you the parts what I got from TPS earlier on. I need to be quick because I don't want the messes to see as I'll be in trouble and I need to quick get all this stuff in the shed. So I've got a genuine front crash bar. Obviously if you don't know what TPS is, it stands for Trade Part Specialist. So they deal with genuine VAG group parts, so Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and say it. So I've got a brand new front crash bar. That was exactly the same price as buying one second hand on eBay, so I'd rather buy a genuine brand new. I've got the bonnet hinges, the wing brackets, and then these pieces, so that's drivers and passenger. Where the top of the headlight is, that'll bolt up near the wing, so on the apron, and that bolts up onto the front panel, both sides. The wing, there wasn't many parts for this car on eBay, as it is a later Mark III Skoda Fabio, so it's a facelift model, so it's the newest shape out. There was a couple of wings for sale on eBay, £150 second hand with damage, so a big old dent. So if you're not going to repair it yourself, you would need the body shop to repair it and then paint it. This was retail price, I've got a trade account, but retail, it's about 120 plus VAT. So it's the same price as buying a damaged second hand item. So it's a no brainer. That's why most of the time I just get brand new stuff from dealer. Well, that's a genuine brand new bonnet. I think that was about 230 all in. So that's including VAT. So if you're not from the UK, us in the UK, we have to put 20% VAT on top of the prices. And obviously you see the brand new dashboard. 
haven't got the box. I couldn't fit in my car with everything else. So I'm waiting for a couple more parts. Uh, genuine brand new front panel. And I think some bits for the front bumper, grills, etc. But yeah, I thought I'd quickly show you. I'm going to get all this in the shed before I get told off by the missus. So I've just come upstairs to film the ending of the video. It's nice and quiet up here. The kids are playing downstairs. Also, you might also hear some firework noises in the background as it is Sunday, the 7th of November. I think it's about half five at night now. I'm trying to get this wrapped up so I can get it posted on YouTube. So yeah, we did some fireworks on Friday night, had plenty of fun with the kids. So today's video was all filmed today, apart from the last two bits, which was when I was at TPS with the dashboard and showing you the parts at home. Um, no, my missus still don't know that those parts are in the living room. Hopefully she won't find out. If not, I'm a gonna. You might if if you don't see a video from me anymore on YouTube, you know why. <laughs> uh, no, she's she'll be right. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see if she watches the video. But um, yeah, apart from that, like I always say to you, check dealer for prices on parts first, because after time, secondhand parts can be the same price as brand new genuine or they can be dearer I've it's happened to me so many times like today on the parts for the skoda uh like the wing 115 pound brand new from dealer 150 pound damaged second hand on ebay dashboard was cheap 260 quid including that no it doesn't come with the airbag that's separate but it comes with all the chat heater channels everything underneath so that'll be the next video on the fabia so hopefully the seat belts will come back from the airbag team midweek so then we can start removing and installing all the new dashboard and obviously the airbags and seat belts. All I need is daylight, it doesn't matter if it's raining or if it's windy, because obviously I'm inside the car. And the last parts for the car come, I think Thursday this week. So I've got two second-hand headlights that look literally brand new. I've got a brand new genuine front panel, because that was destroyed, they're plastic, it got smashed. I've got an AC condenser brand new. Uh, what else have I got come? I've got a bumper in the same colour, that's second hand, but good condition. But I'll get that painted anyway, because obviously if I'm painting, if we're getting the whole front end painted, to get that perfect match, just like the Evoke, do it all in one hit. I think the grill, the big grill that's underneath the bonnet that come, that was second hand on eBay. I think I paid 60 quid for that. And I think the last piece I need, but which isn't important at the minute, that can be, I can order that and it can come whenever is the two fog lights and the fog light grills. They're the piece what you put in normally last once it's been painted. So let us know in the comments what you think to today's video, what you think to the car. And also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get a notification when we put a new upload. And the last thing, if you did like today's video, if you can smash that like button, it really helps with the channel. And Thank you very much from me and Pete to everyone that has subscribed. The channel's now, I think it's getting towards 3,500 subscribers. Me and Pete are you know, really chuffed how the channel's growing. So thank you very much for watching today and see you in the next one.